Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris from Casually Unfiltered Culver's. I'm just doing this quick video because the I, Apple just came out with the new iPhone SE 2022 version. And as you can see by the article here by The Verge, it's uh, by Allison Johnson. And I will leave the link to this article in the description below <clears throat> but like they it pretty much they they were saying that um that it will have 5G and and I was hearing rumors before all this that um that it was supposed to be you know, uh, the like the price tag was supposed to be like three ninety nine, but it's four twenty nine. Um, and of course, that would be from the newer processor, and it actually supporting five G. But I think they personally could have like improved the. You know, redo the design of the SE, the new SE, because the design that they're using for these SEs is like they're they're getting really old and outdated looking. And yeah, so I just wanted to do this video because I mean I'm like I'm happy that. This new iPhone SE has 5G and it has a new processor. But Apple, I was a little disappointed because they, you know, didn't really change the form factor of this phone. Like they, they could have went with a different design at least to make the screen a little bigger. And, and I, I wish they would have, you know, made it, made the iPhone a little bit bigger, maybe about around close to the 8 size, the iPhone 8 size. But then again, I understand that the iPhone SE is a budget iPhone, but, um... If you're asking, well, Chris, is this iPhone even worth the upgrade from the, you know, from the iPhone SE, the 2020 version? I would say yes, if you're coming from the original iPhone SE or the SE 2020 then yes, this would be a little decent upgrade. But the only things that are really different would be this new iPhone SE 2022 will have 5G and it will have the same A15 Bionic chip processor that will that comes with the iPhone 13. So, yeah, I think it would be a really good upgrade from the original iPhone SE. Or if you're coming from a way older iPhone and you're wanting to take advantage of the 5G networks and you're trying to do it on the budget, the iPhone SE 2022 would be... A really good upgrade but it's also your preference so but everybody this is uh, Chris from casually unfiltered Culver's and let me know what you think in the comment section down below about this new iPhone SE with 5g and the a15 processor and the price tag of $429.
just let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, share, subscribe. And this is Chris from Casually Unfiltered Culver's. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.